Uh, my name is Richard Forty, and for um, many years I was the trilobite expert at the Natural History Museum in London, and now I'm emeritus, but still have my office there. Uh, and I'm going to tell you about my favourite trilobite, which is this specimen in this little leather bag. Um, I was presented it. I was given to it, it by Sir James Stubblefield, um, who was director of the British Geological Survey, and in his day, a famous trilobite man. Uh, he died, aged about 100, uh, and to my pleasure and surprise, I received this trilobite in his will, together with the story accompanying the trilobite, because Stubblefield himself had been left it by a man called Hawkins, who was a renowned authority on sea urchins in his day, and Hawkins had been in the First World War. Accompanying the specimen was a letter, now a bit faded, from the then keeper or head of paleontology in the Natural History Museum to Hawkins. And Hawkins at the time was in the trenches uh, in France in the First World War. And the letter went something as follows. My dear Hawkins, um, I'm thinking of you now in a very vulnerable position. And I wish I could present you with armour to keep you safe, which I cannot. But I can send you the carapace of my favourite trilobite. And that's this one, Kalimini Blumenbachai, in the hope that it will keep you safe. Uh, and it did, because Hawkins came back and became a, a renowned uh, professor uh, and expert on sea urchins. And in his time, due time, Hawkins passed the trilobite on to Sir James Stubblefield. And Stubblefield eventually passed it on to me. So it's a very precious object. And, uh, well, I hope that it has a little charm attached to it, because um, a few years ago I wrote a book called trilobite with an exclamation mark all about trilobites and how they live um, and I was lucky enough to be picked to go on start the week with Jeremy Paxman which of course always sets off a little flutter in your heart um, and uh, you get a few minutes warm-up time uh, before the program and I noticed that I was going to be with the famously acerbic novelist Will Self and I was getting a bit worried and nervous but I did have in my pocket my lucky charm, the trilobite. And just before going on to the program, I took it out and I showed it to Jeremy Paxman saying, you probably haven't seen a trilobite before. Uh, and he took some interest in it. And I noticed as we were walking in, he took my book from the bottom of the pile and put it on the top of the pile. So maybe the trilobite charm had worked once again, uh, a century after the First World War. <laughs>